Amen. Abbasalon again, as I said last night, you know her very well, but that does not give us a license, amen, not to properly introduce her to you. Amen. We love her so much, prophet. We love you so much, amen. We love the ministry that is in your life, and we love you as well. Amen. Ushumayela illis will get to go and fix it. Illis, only Shumayela, yo, literally, lishama makal, live kali, makal. Amen. Indo uti to umo ya gati to pezguako. Amen. You are the true prophet uh, that does not fear what people say. I say, and it's my little talent on am change. Go, I'm a prophet. I'm a yikio. I'm a prophet. I get banjalo. Amen. I have had a problem with the prophet. Amen. Had a problem with the prophet. Amen. A true prophet doesn't buy faces. A true prophet speaks as in a masuka tiko. Amen. So, Mama, we are blessed to have you in in Port Elizabeth. Amen. We are blessed to have you in this generation. Because you are like that lanto solo go il kumbu zibanda. Ui lanto solo go ibanda ili recalibrate. Solo go isiza il tati banda ili realign. All I want to say to you, kubegeka usenza leluyenza. And you are on the right path. May the Lord bless you. We love you so much. As Penuel Fellowship leadership together, my myself and my wife, siyang tanda, siyang ngokola nga utito wanga utito anga kusigelel wanga utito anga kongeselela more. We love you so much. No babanye banga grichekta kwenye payo kanyi whatever. Tina, we know what God has laid into your life. We love you so much and we respect you so much. Amen. As you know, we are not saying this thing because we want to feel good. Amen. We are just saying because it is from our heart. We respect you. We thank you. The humility that is in your life. I go zenzis. I go zenzis. Amen. It is really in your life. From the first day you've been here. That in Nabile, it's rare what you are doing. Amen. Some they don't come into meetings where they are going to preach. But you've been here. Amen. Almost every night. You excuse yourself if you are not going to be here. The only night you didn't show up. It's the night I believe that you were praying. You didn't show up. May God bless you. Amen, woman of God. We love you so much. Amen. Bazalwane, please allow me again. Amen. To allow, uh, to just uh, invite, amen, the prophet of God. Amen. Umamu Kunzi to you again to preach to us. Come on, Bazalwane. Say, prophet and prophet. Prophet and prophet. Prophet and prophet. Preach, preacher. Ushanda Maya, Ende Ramona 
Kasanda. I send you, Lord, Ushandeya, to the secret struggles. Ushanda Maya, that we cannot share with anybody. Lord Jesus, Ushandeya, Eyakada, you are Jehovah, Eroya, the God who sees Ushanda Mandeya, Ushandeya, Mandarivasha, I see Lord in the hearts of Ushandaya, Kandamaya, see Lord in the hearts of Ushandamaya, and the darkness of the heart, the suicide spirit, I break you in the name of Jesus, your suicide spirit, your unclean spirit, I break you in the name of Jesus. That young person that's cutting themselves, I break you, I break you, you unclean spirit, I break you in the name of Jesus. Usha, the pornography. On that phone, Ushandeya, that pornography, Udaba Zadaya, it loses taste. But tonight, it loses taste. It loses taste. It loses taste. Ushandeya, Manda, Kadaya, I break your spirit of pornography. I break you in the name of Jesus. Ushandaya. That mother, that father bound in loans. I break it. I break it. My Antini, we loans. I break you. I break your back in the name of Jesus. You don't belong in the house of God. I affect you. I affect you. I affect you in the name of Ushanda Maya. Rebeya Daba Sadaya. Ushada Daba Sada. Dadaba Sadaya Daba Sadada. The Spirit Lord that breaks marriages. Ushandaya marriage beds that a friend called Ushandaya Kudaya marriage beds that a friend called Ushandaya I speak a laugh back into those bedrooms back laugh back laugh back in the name Ushandaya pretend. You have no place in the house of God. You have no place in the house of God. In the house of the living God, oh spirit of pretense, I break your back in the name Oh Lord, you are setting the captives free tonight. Every captive, Ushanda, Undaya, Daya, Mandaya, Kananda, that spirit of self hate, I break you in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, spirit of failure, spirit of failure, you have no right in this room, you have no place in this room, you have no place out in the name of Jesus. Moyan Zinu Libala Moyan Zinu Libala 
Ushanda na suya Naya na sunde Naya na ananda zende Yanda moya njino bayo Moya obiswi Moya obayo Moya obikondo Moya njini Aunakunya In the house of the living God We shall know the word We shall keep the word in the name of Jesus, we shall not be stolen. We shall say to you, devil, it is written. It is written. It is. Shanda maya kada basadi, moya njino bayo, au na kuni. Whom the Lord sets free is free indeed. Lord, we will not walk in half freedom in the house of the living God. We will not walk in half freedom. We are free indeed. There's, there's, there's so much pain in the room. There's so much pain. People are having hearts of desperation. People are struggling with real issues. And they are sad and frustrated because they have been praying and praying, but they can't deliver themselves from these things. They come before God and cry. But the next day they go back. They are frustrated. And the Lord says, I have come for those today it loses taste it loses its grip on you it loses its power on you it will no longer control you you are the head and not the tail you are above and not beneath. You have been given the power to trample over snakes and scorpions and never be harmed. You are an overcomer. You are more than a conqueror, says God. The Lord says, from today, I decree and declare that from today, I will not ask you will vomit it in the name of Jesus. I know we judge, we are sell and all that. But to you, it's a real pain. It's a real struggle. But the Lord says, I break it over you today. It will no longer control you. You are my righteousness, says God. You are my possession. And I treasure you, says God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Let me greet Mama Nodata and greet the elders of the church and greet Abba Salone Bonke and Ushia Nogwabo. Amen. Bless the Lord. Are there prophets in the house? Are there prophets in the house? Amen. You shall prophesy. Hallelujah. So bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Uh, one thing that I forgot from everything that the Lord was saying last night, one thing I must add that the Lord said that I, I forgot. The Lord said that watch out in this season. The Lord says, I want to deal with the witchcraft in this season. And this is what the Lord said to me. Watch out in this season how many old people are going to be missing. In this season, we'll be seeing missing, missing old people. For the Lord says, 
I'm going to close the portals of witchcraft and they will be held on the other side. They will be caught permanently on the other side. I'm going to close the portals. As you pray, I'm going to close the portals. In hell, they will be stuck on the other side. As And the Lord said, like I did to Pharaoh and his chariots, I will take wheels of their transport. While they are moving at night, they will fall everywhere. You're going to see videos. The Lord says, they will fall everywhere. I'm dealing with the spirit of witchcraft. In this season, says God. Let's go to the word. The word today, I'm excited. I'm excited about the message today. I want to keep it short because I want to prophesy over a few people. Of course, in Zanit, I hope your hands are lifted up in the spirit saying, me, 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 Lord. Because I don't know how I'm going to choose you. So therefore, you have better have your hand lifted up saying, me, 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 Lord. So... <clears throat> I want to keep the message very short. But it's a very powerful message. I'm excited. I was excited. I wanted to skip yesterday and come to this message. Uh, I don't worry if it doesn't excite you. It excites me. Uh, this message, the one purpose, I want to affect your mind. Permanently affect your mind. I want to change how you are thinking this entire year thinking differently. I want you to hear my voice and let it haunt you. Did you share, I guess, so it could be objective before the lesson. <laughs> I want to affect your mind with this, with this message. Therefore, when you leave here, it's not just going to be a message that excites I hope it doesn't excite you, but I want you to be affected. We're going to read John number 8, from verse 1 to verse number 11. Let my reader read in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. John chapter 8, verse 1. Jesus went unto the Mount of Olives. And early in the morning he came again into the temple. And all the people came up unto him. And he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery. In the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what says thou? This they said, tempting him that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and with his finger wrote on the ground and as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself. And said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Hallelujah. Amen. Ponte, can you come and pray for the word? Father, we thank you because you are faithful. Thank you for your love upon us. Thank you that you still search for us. And according to your word this evening, we thank you that your mercy is still searching out for us. We bless your name. Our hearts are prepared. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. The title of my message today says, In Pursuit of Righteousness. In pursuit of righteousness. 
We are in a season of a revival. We are in a revival. The revival is not coming. We are in a revival. And as we are in a revival, the harvest is coming. This is the season for the harvest. This is a season where the church will win souls in multitudes if they want to. Therefore, as we are in a revival, you know where revival comes when there's so much sin. It's sin that actually attracts a revival. The word revival comes from the root word vahi, V-A-H-Y, which is a Greek word which means balancing the scales. So this basically means what the prophet Isaiah said. He said that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise up the standard against the enemy. What that means, it means revival. So for a revival to come, sin must be this high. And when sin is this high, the spirit of the Lord raises up the standard against the enemy. Not over the enemy, against its neck and neck. Therefore, when sin comes, it brings an imbalance. Therefore, nature does not allow an imbalance. In nature, everything must always be in balance. So when sin has come, like it has come in South Africa, there's an imbalance. Therefore, that sin provokes the spirit of the Lord to rise up. So the standard has been raised by the spirit of the Lord. That is why the Lord is calling us to prophesy. Because the spirit of the Lord has been released by the multitude of sin. Therefore, now what happens is that the spirit of the Lord rises up and sin is already at that level and the Lord says he balances it now it's neck and neck then a revival bursts out let me tell you asoze apha emhlabeni sigubungele isong Get that into your mind. It must always be neck and neck. Huh? So that's why we yes as a boy, as a tata bag. Because if you read the book of, of Revelation, you will be shocked at how much hard the heart of sinners are. With everything that is happening there, the, 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 the plagues that come, after the plague, they still remain in sin. So the spirit of the Lord raises up the standard against the enemy, not over. It's against, it's neck and neck. Get that into your mind. So, as we receive the harvest, God wants to speak to us tonight. As we receive the harvest, God wants to speak tonight. tonight. In this book of John chapter number 8, Jesus is sitting in the temple. He's sitting like us today and he's teaching in the church. The Pharisees in their way of always trying to undermine Jesus and always trying to expose him as a false prophet, so they bring one of those trial tests to Jesus. They bring a woman caught up in adultery. Bamsi saku yesu. Batatu moni. Bamsi saku msindis. Thinking that they are embarrassing. 
bring this woman batatumoni bamsakum sindisi Sometimes people want to expose izono zako they want to expose who you are but in their exposure when they speak about it batalo kuhle dipende ngoba thetha benga bazalwane everywhere they speak against your sin batalo kuhle ngawe because their words carry power in the spirit therefore when they speak god sees people that are concerned about you therefore you cannot really embarrass umtana katiko you cannot really embarrass me you cannot you can never it is impossible I'm sitting blame. In the right place for a sinner. <laughs> they bring him to the right place for a sinner, not only to the right place, to the right person. Because they did not have a revelation of who Jesus was. Sometimes people by your teacher ngawo kumntu wrong. By your teacher ngawo kumntu wrong. This one as soon as they leave, they he goes on their knees and he prays. Was is a good assessor. There's people that are in sin. When we look at them, we break before God and say, "Nothing go bad." The sinners that break the heart of God, sitting at the high, 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 not to bad, not to bad. Therefore, come, sister, come, O city. We must put her out there. And the next thing I pass to pray. Pain him the altar. So puma guako. The pali kamalake. The lbeke altar. And I pray for that person day and night. Therefore, but that alone, I'm circumcising this. But teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. But look, Elela. It's amazing sometimes, I find this all the time, how people look at you, but and undermine you. I came to the West, must not be different, and that must be friendly, and that must be friendly. I took a hook, can't in the gloss of Shumayla up. A bag and oil and chasepa, chicken dog, mama, mama. And I'm like, please, you should treat everybody that comes in with dignity. It should not be because of Andubas or Tinina. Everybody should treat with the same dignity because I was about banning Guban. I was as long Kelapetang. I was long Salon Kelapetang. You probably looking at them, especially pa, who can buy sister nobody. You'll be shocked to bang bang not hele kangwa. Shocked. Who's sitting next to you? So basa ku yesu because bana they know the Torah, they know the law of Moses from beginning to end. So they come to Jesus and try to test him with the Torah. But utum teto kamosis. Who is Jesus? He is the law of Moses. Ba 
Ati, Utum Tetoka Moses. In danger, Tina, we must stone it. This is the rock. All right. All right, to the stone up. <laughs> this, this is the right place to stone this person. Matthew 21, verse 44. Oh, <laughs> Matthew 21, verse 44. Whoever falls on this stone will be broken to pieces. But whoever it falls, it will grind him to powder. But he said, I'm going to the house. I'm going to go to the house. i the Beyond redemption, who was over La Helizand when Ubangami legashe Gashi when Ufuba Tulan says Kunjeni, Babakiangao, Unendeti, you are out at Uneneb, Nagansan, Shasa Paya Pango. We have a tendency of writing people off. The blood of Jesus wrote all saints on. You cannot unwrite me. I am already carved in the body. By his stripes, I am carved. Hey, Betunan. Let 
Kafa. Hey, so shesh, so shake and gum. You know, Aba Zalba Tanuba ne warring Abantua. Aba twenty sound, twenty year olds and twenty year olds. I don't, yes. Tia and the Konba Kabao, I'm a Felipa. That's my only prayer. Bazalwan, abanya band, na ba yas, abanya band ba no bizo olukul. Therefore, kuna ke ba hambe, ayo koke le lubuni. Bazalwan, abanya band ba kile le trongo, ayo koke le lubuni na. How many times did Paul go into prison? Peter was in prison. And the testimonies, some of the because they were in prison. About you know, if you if you could know our hearts. Faithful Self-righteousness is a sin. And we all walk in it in the church. The reason Usi Wanje is because Nagu Yong Kaleka Papansi Usuke Kla High Horse Uso Buya Ukwas Bakunta Nuba Pansi. You fall upon the rock and the rock breaks you into pieces and put you together again. And this time we are deformed our circle in order. Your speech is different. Your walk is different. Everything about you is different. I am going to take an I'm going understand it because your language has changed. Therefore, for me, I'm by you, by you, Nila, by you, by be embarrassed. By all meat, Babu Yabanga was not at the Bavanda was a random solo put at Domdan and Gecko by the time Babui. Seven bought a seven a lot at Domdan. Who put that? I am the mass. But they need to be embarrassed like that because they were looking at those that were falling. Let them have only caught in the wrong on the harbor. Because in Tom Bessinga, we. Oh, see a church and papa. I said, church and sweet that. I, 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 But because of the mercy of God, because we took us to make a Google, God is not going to send here 50 ladies that are broken. Only for Utata Beke up, who sister self righteous to lead these ladies. When we bring the 50 broken women here, we need scarred women to stand before them. Don't bring us a police, a sweet face here. Yeah. We don't need police. Let the police women stay with the police ones. That's what they are called for. Let the broken ones stay with the broken ones. Kubon son is gas in Dagama. Nasa Sam, Nasa Sam. Ubu think I see better Sako. I was born on the Sam. We need people who will compete with their scars 
and heal each other with their scars. By his stripes, we are healed. By our stripes, we will heal. Funabanda was out. Utenu Utini. Babi Nabandran. What that about different? A tattoo of them. Oh, a sudden man, no mazutat and a rage. And you see God moving in that room. You see the spirit of the Lord coming down in that room and, and taking over and breaking people into pieces and, and, and building them up again. Upon as a cooler in Jajambo from people of a figure up, they got no body. Upon is in Tombi, Upon my Tinitico, Ubanum Sekanti Kanti, then I must boom Sekanga because God brought them into pieces and put them together again. Therefore, the Lord is saying to us, Because baby yazba, uti jana ngo five kama bani. And Mufikele says win. So by a mazu five. Bango five of papa. Other one five of figure band better any language. Ushia Kembel. They've been trained in the world. The world has trained them. So they come in here like an army. They march to your word because the devil has trained them how to march. They know how to follow rules because they had men and women that slap them if they don't respond. They've been taught obedience in the doldrums of the world, in the wrong places. They know what to obey. Therefore, they look at you and they see a man and they know how to honor and respect the word of a man. They come here on time. They clean. They do everything. This one, the parents, Abasi, Elise, Abasi, is these are the parents. The, the the church is sophisticated. God is bringing the harvest. Wadutu tik, akafuni bantu, abasal precious. And the funny band, Abbas of Figa well bandalam. Hey, Babo Pool. Oh, we are Zasbung Mo Pooli. Begela good, the Kumbo. Alpha well bandla. Sifuna banda bebe tibet disco kuse. Abbas of Tizaki overnight prayer. And Abbasula Labasu Gosela. Because my Ayazu Taifa is shipping Kumexasa. When you are sinners in those, I come go and I find a long part. Her kitchen overnight prayer. Her kitchen, I go get it. Go to hell. This ones, if you say let's pray, they pray. Baby, try for goose. I'm getting broken up. I pull me. Then I am normal. Therefore, they will roll on this floor. Like cattle no bit tired, the floor no bit tired. They will roll here. They know how to come in clean and live dirty. God is saying, I'm, 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 I'm sending this church in this revival. I'm looking for disciple makers, people who win souls for the Lord. And make disciples. 
if everybody in this house wins souls, we'll have three services. This is a mega church in waiting. This is a mega church in the making. We need people that will win souls here. Unon we make because I unon do kwa answer. See from God we zongin da ba zekawa because I unon do kwa answer. Ibanza la ko liguli dile. There should have been three penwells by now. I thought fun was in that one. Get penwell. I pay by it. Banda, Lilindenina, Yolanda. God has broken your Abanye, Ubo men, we are Punyuka, Utina, Lunga, Pinagunga, Lungi. But because God is thinking, why should I give you another thing on top of things when you do not using that thing for my kingdom? And you expect me to add another thing to that thing when that thing is staying and, and doing nothing for my kingdom. He's looking for people. Aba zautat, aba boni, aba sekui. They thought they were embarrassing this woman. But they brought her sin to a savior. And God is saying to you today, I'm looking for people that will bring sinners to a savior. I want to ask you, 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 and we need an indefinite guy. You know, God said yesterday that bring me that old religion. Because in this church, one spirit that God irritates him about in this modern church is the spirit of pretense. That will break. Do you know that there is a thief that is sitting there and thinking you are the best person in the world when they hear that you are a you are a thief? Do you know what how it will affect them? We come here with our nice clothes. <laughs> I'm sure my come by nice son. <laughs> we come there with our nice clothes and nice bag and high heels. And I'm sure my come by, oh, holy, holy, holy. They want to bow. We are all sinners saved by grace. He has made sin so that we could become the righteousness of God. It is God who makes us righteous. Our own righteousness is self-righteousness. It is a sin. We are only righteous in God. He was made sin so that we will not become sin. We would be made the righteousness of God. Therefore, your righteousness is as righteous as your closeness, as your proximity to him. Far away from him, you are a raggedy rag. Therefore, see God today, he will have a message. No judge abandoned. I am the only church. 
IMF judge. Why are you happy? Look about your brother's keeper. When did we stop being brothers keepers? See again, Nini, Ukuti Kasiboni Sono, Somtu, Sisi Tatan into our closet and pray. See again, Nini, Ukuba Kasibonum the Sona, see Yam, is a good sap, I'm done, I trend. We preach sin more than we preach the word of God. See a share. Share, 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 But God is saying, it's my church. Jobune lokwezi twenty nje. This looks a little less born. Itene yabo. Azu kaba ma bela buza bangadisa. You cover them. Ishamuza kazi twenty. Iten bendi bekele born. I was raising your water up for the church that is coming. Not this church that is selfish. We are going to be a brother's keeper. And the Lord says, be aggressive in winning souls. In Tambia song, let us be aggressive in winning souls. Ilambele, imi perfumlo, lamba, dan kabele kulanji, we apa kanjan. I don't know when you became high class. Can be leperting. Nothing in that will miss any tent, a pet talent. Ungano and Ababa, we will attend. Tan makabele lambile. God is saying, back to that. That old time religion. Of a church that is hungry for souls. But Nibam Kele Benjal, as Bashebi, Siabatan, as Bachili, Siabakum, Sijanabez in Zinzet, a pooming a gawa, ne family aquae too, got a Guka Banda Bashanga Banova Jandoni, Ungena Banda by four, a motto and a five. Auze kaweni ni by two emotu eni emotu ingena four or five. Aulekwe kaweni ba mauzo shale zistulo uzo shala pambil kuka na ba lekinda wosha le kaweni. Uambuya kitelum salwane ufike lei petele because you are hungry for this soul. Puma kwa ke kaweni uyo jagwa. What kind of a God are we giving people? What kind of a God are we giving? Oh, bye, bye, bye. We are must be a lamb. Bye. God bless you. Do you know what hundred runs can do in a hungry person's life? It's grocery for the entire week. Just 100 runs. Do you know what 100 runs can do in a poor person's life? You must renew your minds. The Lord wants to transform us. I don't do nice. I'm never called for nice things. I'm not one of them. As I said at the beginning, I hope you are affected and infected. I hope your mind is transformed and renewed. And know what time and understand the seasons that you are in. Understand the times. 
ibandla alazi nezi propheto alibone birth pains ezi zi akuza na solis zi akuza nje kodi birth pains zi baliwe in the world nati zi akuza yi earthquake yo I said to you, go late. Must you bat? I said, I'm going to you. Earthquake. Father, in the name of Jesus. Mande Rebosha. Ruda Basadaya Kuda da Basadi. Ushede Yakuda Basadaya da Basada. Udeshedeya da bada da da kada basudeya, ureya da da baka da sudeya da bada da sudeya, udere bedeya da 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 baka da suda, ushede ya kuda ya basa da da da, ushaya kada baba shada, udere beshede ya kuda basa da. Rebedeya, Zudeya, Dabaya, Duya, Da, Udeya, Dabaya, Da, 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 Bakada, Sudeya, Udeya, Kuda, Da, Basadaya, Ude, Rebedeya, Da, Da, Bada, Sudeya, Ushedeya, Kuda, Da, Basadaya, Rura, Bada, Sudeya, Da, Bada, Kada, Basuda. Thank you, Jesus. And that, that gentleman here, what is it? The Lord says, I'm removing your burdens. You carry so much on your shoulders. And it's bringing you down. You carry your house and you have to carry your family, even financially. Sometimes you don't even want to pick up their phones because you don't know what they are going to ask for. And the Lord says, I'm going to stretch your shoulders and I'm taking off your burdens. I'm burdening you. I'm putting you in a season of ease. You walk in a season of, of struggles, everything, everything that you've had in life, you had to fight and struggle for. And Lord says, I'm, I'm moving you in a season where you're going to walk on cruise control. Things are not going to matter. Things that affected you yesterday are not going to affect you no more. People that affected you yesterday are not going to affect you no more. The peace of God comes upon you. Mm. The Lord says, I'm sending a spirit of refreshing. I'm refreshing your prayer life. I'm refreshing your altar. You have not been praying of late. You are tired. You are exhausted. Your spirit is exhausted. And the Lord says, I'm sending times of refreshing upon you. 
I'm refreshing your house. I'm refreshing your life. I'm refreshing your marriage. Mm. Thank you. No more stagnation. No more stagnation. No more stagnation. Thank you, Jesus. I am breaking you free. I am breaking you free from that spirit of oppression. I'm breaking you free. The Lord says, I'm unlocking your great mind. You have a great mind. And of late, it's not been used. It's, it's been so underutilized. And the Lord says, I'm unlocking your great mind. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Your freedom. Your freedom. Jesus, can I lay hands up for you? worried about your sister and the Lord says I will take care of her do not worry about her I will take care of her situation thank you Father thank you Lord Jesus Is so much <clears throat> hunger upon your life. There's so much hunger for the things of God. You are hungry for the supernatural. Some people hear it spoken, <clears throat> but you desire it with all of your being. You want to walk in the supernatural. And the Lord says, I'm releasing the grace upon your life. The grace for healing. You shall lay hands on the sick in this season and they shall recover. The spirit of the Lord is falling upon you. And the Lord says, I'm anointing you. I am bringing back the priestly garment from your family upon you. I am restoring the garment of a priest. I am calling you into priesthood, says God. You will walk like a madman and you will find my people, says God. You will seek after souls, the Lord says, and you will go like a madman. The evangelistic anointing upon your life is unlocked in the name of Jesus. You are an evangelist. You are a healer, says God. Mm. And the Lord says, I hear your, your family mocking you, mocking you, mocking you. And God is saying, ba, ba When I restore your fortunes, it will be like you are in a dream. The Lord says, I'm preparing a table in the presence of your enemies. 
You will feed them from that table. They will come and gather. They will come to your house. The Lord says, I will give you a house. I will give you a home. And they will see it with their own eyes. Before they leave, they will see it. Thank you, Jesus. Fire, let the fire Ben, let the fire, let the fire, let the fire not be quenched, Lord, by anything, by anyone. Let no one quench the fire. Let it continue to burn. I unlock the fire, Lord, an impartation of your spirit right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for breaking the chains. The Lord says, I'm breaking you loose. I'm breaking you loose. For generational curses, I'm breaking you loose in the name of Jesus. Mm. The darkness in your family will not follow you. No, mm. no more. No more. No more darkness. No more darkness. The Lord says, I'm pulling you into my marvelous light in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, when, when will you take up your, your position? When will you step up to the plate? You have been sitting in the background for too long. And you know that there's a word that is burning in your heart. But you continue to take the back seat. What should happen to you that to pull you to the front? The Lord says, you keep on rejecting opportunities. You keep on staying in the back. When I have called you, there's a nation. There are people that are waiting for you and waiting for your word. There's people. You have favor with people. People fall in love with you easily. But you don't use the favor that I have given you. And the Lord says, in this season, you shall prophesy. The dreams will become clearer and clearer. You will see it. You will see it. You will see it. You will see it. And it will be clear. I am breaking and I am cleaning your womb. I'm cleaning your womb. I'm cleaning your womb. Not only your physical womb, your spiritual womb as well. You shall give birth in this season. You shall give birth in this season. I'm loosing your tongue. You shall prophesy, says God. You shall prophesy. This is your season. This is your time. You have walked with me for too long. This is the season of your manifestation. You shall manifest as a son in the season. You shall manifest as a son in the season. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Restoration of your finances. Restoration of your finances. The enemy has stolen so much from you. There's money you cannot account for. The Lord says, I'm restoring your finances. In the name of Jesus. Peace on all sides. A season of peace. A season of joy. On all sides, says God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. In Jesus' name. Amen.
against you in the spirit. Like the priest Joshua standing before God. The enemy has come to accuse you. And the Lord says, I'm removing the filthy garments upon your life. You should see what the Lord is doing in the spirit. Shedding garment after garment after garment after garment after garment. And the Lord says, I'm shedding this garment. I am giving you a new garment. The priestly garment. The garment that you will use to part the waters. I'm putting on a new garment. I am changing. I am changing your life. I am changing your direction. You are going this way. And the Lord says, I'm moving you to a different direction. Sure. And says, I'm cancelling the accusations in the spirit and I'm breaking the spirit of witchcraft over. I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking, the breaking, the witchcraft has no power over you. Sure, the Ooh, the witches wanted to finish you long time ago but the Lord says I am protected you I have preserved you you are mine you are my righteousness oh says God I am your keeper I am your shepherd the Lord says I have kept you I have preserved you you should have died a long time ago but the Lord says you will live and you will not die for you are at the forefront of of this revival, oh, you will bring them in multitudes. You will bring them in, says God. By your scars, oh, you will heal many. Oh, you shall testify. Oh, you will testify. You will testify, says God. You will testify. It's a new day. Ushandaya Kabasadaya. It's a new day. The Lord says, I will restore your dignity. I will restore your honor. Ushandaya. Ah, restoration has come upon you. Order, 
Ushadaba yakata order. Ushadaba. I'm bringing structure. I'm bringing order. Ushadaba kada basada. I am quieting every storm. It is quieted in the name of Jesus. It's a new season. Uda basada da basada. Oh, by the blood of Jesus, I am erasing all accusations. Oh, you are no longer accused. All the filthy comments have been taken off you. Walk in the priestly comment. They will ask what manner of clothes he was wearing. And they will tell them it's an unusual comment. Ushandeya, an unusual comment. It's a peculiar comment that he was walking in, is walking in an unusual anointing, is walking in a peculiar anointing. We've never seen this, oh Shandaya, we've never seen oh, the speed that man was walking in, is walking in the speed of the supernatural. For the Lord says, you have ground to cover, you have ground to cover, you have ground to recover, you have ground to recover, you have ground to recover. Therefore you will run at the speed that is never seen. Oh, like a madman. You will run, says God. You will run and not stop. You will run. You will outrun horses. Oh, speed is your portion. Speed is your portion. Healing, deliverance is your portion. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. It's a new day. We bless you, Father. Blood of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. says, wherever you step your feet, I have given you the land. Mm. You shall possess the land. You are a foreigner no more. Walk with power. Walk with authority. The Lord says, I'm pulling you to the front again. You will no longer shy away in the back. You will take your position. You will buy. You will come up higher. You will come up higher. I am calling you up higher. I am calling the lioness to roar. Again, you will roar. You will roar. You will roar. You will roar. You've been dormant for too long. You've been frustrated for too long. I'm breaking all the frustration. Raw, raw, says the raw. Shada kabasa da daya. This land will know your voice. This land will know. They will know your voice. They will know your voice. You will be heard far and wide. You won't end only in this city. Oh, the cities of this nation will hear your voice. The cities of this nation will know your voice. You will travel and crisscross. Oh, this nation. 
Ramana, preaching the gospel. Oh, you will preach it in season and out of season. You ask how. And the Lord says, I make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I am doing a new thing. I am doing a new thing. I'm stretching all your boundary and your territory. Ushandeya, no more frustration. No more being lost. Unda Kamanda, no more stagnation. Unda Sandeya, I'm silencing all the voices of the enemy that have been speaking over your life. I'm silencing them. The Lord says the voice of God will thunder over you. It will thunder. It will thunder. It will thunder. It will thunder. You will hear the Lord again. You will write the oracles again. You will write the word again. Yes, you will write again. Oh, it's been quiet. It's been silent. The Lord says, I am opening up all the portals of heaven. You will hear me again. And the Lord says, you will prophesy. You will speak the deep things that I am showing you. You will speak the deep things that I am showing you even about my people. You shall share even the dreams. You will tell my people the things that I am showing you. I am showing you deep things and they are going to be deeper. The Lord says in this season, I am going deeper with you. I am taking you deeper in this season. I am taking you deeper. I am taking you higher. I am taking you deeper in this season. Says God. Oh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon you for He has anointed you. You are an anointed woman of God. Oh, do not shrink back, says God. Do not shrink back. It's not your portion. It's not your portion. You are never small. You will never be small. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Can you to come, both of you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Kasada basude, rubaba basha da kada basada. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. This is an healing your stomach. Ooh. Sure. Thank you, Lord. Healing in Jesus' name. I'm giving you clarity of mind and clarity of thoughts. There's been so much confusion in your life, conflict, not knowing what to do, where to go, feeling stuck. And the Lord says, I'm giving you clarity of mind. I'm, I'm, I'm unsticking you. You will no longer feel stuck. You will know exactly what to do. For the Lord says, this is your time for promotion. This is your time to grow up. This is your time to get into the other side of life. And the Lord says, that confusion is ending today. You will grow up and you will get a wife. It is a season. It's been groaning in your spirit for a while now. And the Lord says, I'm going to provide for you everything that you need. It is time for you to provide. The Lord says, I want to use you. Therefore, you are delaying me. You are delaying me. I want to break you out. I want to use you in this season. Therefore, provision promotion is coming your way. Your loins are blessed. Your children are blessed. Greatness is their portion. You have great kids. You have a great wife. Riches and honor. You, 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 oh, Amanda, you are a rich man. What is your portion? It may not look like it right now, it may not seem like it, but you are you are a person of prosperity. As soon as you get a wife, your life will change. As the Lord says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord, your life will never be the same again. For I will unlock and pull the, the portals of heaven upon you. 
You are a rich man, a wealthy man. For the Lord says, I want to use you for my kingdom, to advance my kingdom. You are a kingdom financier. You are a giver by nature. And the Lord says, I want to give you riches to finance my kingdom. were so stacked against you. You were counted amongst the ones who would not make it. But you have fought the good fight of faith. Ouch! You have fought the good fight of faith and you have overcome History does not allow you to be here. History does not allow you to be standing here. But the mercy of God has followed you. It hid you from the knives that could have killed you. It hid you from the guns that should have killed you. For the Lord says, I have a plan and a purpose about your life. You will be the first in your family. You are a ground baker. You are a pioneer. You are starting a new lineage. Something that was never seen in your family. The favor, ooh, there's so much favor upon you. You have favor and more favor. And the Lord says, I'm breaking those generational curses. Prison will never see you again. That lineage of men going in and out of prison, it's not your portion. It ends now. It ends today. You're starting afresh a new lineage. You will not fight no more. Things will come easy to you. You fought through your childhood. You had to fight for bread. You have to fight for food to eat. And the Lord says, no more. No more. No more. The hunger you saw yesterday, you will see it no more. It's over. It's over. You are on the other side of it. You are on the other side of it. You have broken free. The snare has been broken. And you have escaped with your life. It's a new day. It's a new season. Times of refreshing had come upon you. The light of God is shining upon you. The light of God is shining upon you. And the Lord says, forgive them. Forgive. 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 Forgive the family members. The Lord says, forgive them. 
forgive every fault. Forgive every fault. Thank you, Lord. To Shande, to Sanda Maya, Buddha, the Basin, Rebecca Sidi, a Buddha, the Sidi, Shabada Kasude, the Rebezea, the Baka, the Dabasida. Can, can, can we? Can we bring an offering to him? Can, can, can you just come and bring a basket and, and just bring an offering? Thank you, Lord. Can we just come and give? Can we come and give? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The blessing of the Lord that adds no sorrow to it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Do I still have time? What is it? Do I still have time? What time is it? 5.35. Okay. Maybe one or, or two more people. Then we close. You cannot sleep. Can you come? Burn up with sleep. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Master. Can we? This lady. Who is that now? Is that now? Is what I'm to say? This lady before you. in fear of losing things. Like every good thing that is happening to you, you feel like you don't deserve things, as if you want to lose things. I think your past has affected you so much that even when God is doing so much great, you live in fear and as it, as it, that you can't even enjoy the things that you have. And the Lord says, I'm breaking that spirit of fear upon your life. And what you see today is nothing compared to what I'm going to give you. <laughs> I have great things for you. But the Lord says, you need to walk in righteousness. You've been struggling with righteousness a lot. And the Lord says, fix your path and fix your ways. As long as you are in the right way with me, I will take care of you. Therefore, the fact that people can't see those things, it doesn't mean that I don't see them, says God. I see the things, therefore you need to fix your spirituality and fix your life. I want the first love that you had for me. There's a place that we need. We used to meet. You have moved from that place. And I'm longing for you back to that place, that first love. And as long as you are in that place, even the things, the struggles that you've gone through, the challenges that you've gone through right now, they will be fixed in that place. It's a place of fixing stuff. It's a place of relationship. It's a place where you can speak and I respond. Therefore, the Lord says, I'm calling you to righteousness. I'm calling you back to my first love. And I'm going to fix the problems even where at your workplace. <laughs> There's so much pain in your workplace. You, you hate going there. It's not a, 
an environment is very toxic for you. But the Lord says, I'm going to fix it as long as you are right with me. I'm going to bring order. And when you have fixed that, promotion is coming your way. I just cannot give you money in this place because it will corrupt you more. I need you, your work to be right so that I can add to you. Thank you, Father. Who shall go? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Show your presence. Thank you, Jesus. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. The Lord says, I want to give you wisdom. Therefore, the fear of the Lord. Business is your portion. Business is your portion. Says God. Business is your portion. There's so much witchcraft around you, around your family. So much uh, success is, is a struggle. People struggle to succeed because of the spirit of witchcraft that has always surrounded your family. Things are stolen easily. It's like things are coming, are coming and coming and, and then you, all of a sudden they are gone. Marriages look like it's coming, it's coming and all of a sudden it disappears. It's the spirit of witchcraft. It's the monitoring eyes that continue to monitor you wherever you go. And the Lord says, as I have said, that I am breaking the spirit of witchcraft. I am breaking it upon your lives as well. It will no longer control you. It will no longer have con Things will not be stolen. The Lord says, I will even restore the things that were stolen from you. The things that you lost, I will, you will find them in this season. Some of them you will have to throw away. But the Lord says, I will bring them back, for they will bring them back everything that was lost in you. The season of struggles. Ooh, Thank you, Jesus. Healing of your womb. Ushanda Kabasu. Where your father was sick. That which you ate in dreams. The Lord says, I'm flushing it out. I'm flushing it out. I'm flushing it out. I'm flushing it out. In the name of Jesus. That which has been moving in your belly. The Lord says, I'm flushing it out. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. You no longer live in fear. You no longer walk in fear. The angels of God encamp round about you. The Spirit of the Lord is upon you, says God. And the darkness flees to you will walk in the marvelous light of God. Favor will locate you. No more struggles. No more pain. No more tears. Joy. Joy, joy, joy. Joy, joy, joy. Joy in the name. The 
Jesus is, you, you, you are a joyous person. You come into a room and you possess it by your spirit. People love your company. But the Lord says, you have not used us for my kingdom. You have made people laugh everywhere you go. But you have not turned that into my kingdom. And in this season, I want to turn that into a tool and a weapon for my kingdom. The favor that has followed you all of your life, you are so favored. You are favored. People love you old and young. Even older women are throwing themselves at you. You have to run away from older women that want you. Because of the favor. They don't understand the favor that is upon you. They want you in their beds. And the Lord says, I'm breaking that spirit over you. I'm breaking the spirit of lust that has followed you. That has followed your fathers. It's a curse. And the Lord says, you will not walk in that. You will not have kids everywhere. Like your fathers and your fathers and your forefathers. You will not have kids. The Lord says, I will preserve you. I will protect you. And I will set you apart for me. I will guard your loins. Your wife will carry your seed. And only your wife will carry your seed. Joy is your portion. And the Lord says, I'm, I will restore the priestly mantle over your family in your life. It's coming back. Like I did to Samuel, that priestly mantle that was lost among the Ephraimites. And I went and I took the Levitical mantle and I put it upon someone. I will do the same to you. It has been lost. It has been lost in idol worship. And the Lord says, I'm taking back that mantle of priesthood and I am restoring it into your life. You will not be a priest on those altars. So that who to take over. You will not take over, says the Spirit of the living God. I am taking you for me. You are precious in my sight. You are the set apart of God. I chose you and I put you. I set apart from before you were born in your mother's womb. I had ordained you, says God. Walk in righteousness. Love God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with everything that you possess. May you love God. Thank you, The blessing of the Lord that adds no sorrow to you. May you be blessed in the country, blessed in the city. May the fruit of your womb be blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. In the house of the Lord. Wow, we thank you, Lord, for the word. We thank you, Lord, for the word. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. We are going back home now. Tipu Tetin. As the servant of the Lord is prophesying now. Amen. Unes into that I'm taking also into my life. Amen. And I know that you are blessed tonight. Amen. As you are going back home tonight. Abazalane, I just want to I mean to say this as a reminder. That Ngomso siapinda siatibana wakona. Apostle Kabe Nomoroke is here tomorrow night. Amen. It's going to be powerful. Amen, Basalani. It's going to be very powerful. And also tomorrow night we have uh, uh, Mr. Kumani Ngojo is coming also to minister tomorrow night. Amen. So both uh, these men of God, they are going to be here. 
every night starting tomorrow, it's Friday, uh, Saturday, and also uh, Saturday evening and Saturday morning. Amen. Mr. Ngocho is going to be on the talk show on Saturday afternoon. Amen. Umfundisi Umorok, Kabelo Moroka. Amen. He's going to be teaching on Saturday morning. Please don't miss that. Amen. Uzabeteta. Umprofie Dignes was to mislay about the church. Some of us also, amen, uh, we lack maybe to understand what are we supposed to do in the kingdom of God. So the man of God will be expanding in those, amen, and teaching in those. So please, amen, don't miss it. He'll be talking on leadership, talking on all things that concerning the ministry, amen. That is on a Saturday morning. Please, back on at 10, and then tomorrow night, of course, at 6 o'clock. Basalan, may God bless you, amen. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for spending this time with us. Amen. I'm telling you, some of you are, going not, are not going to sleep tonight. Amen. Because whatever God is doing right now, is So may God bless you. Amen. Let us pray for one another again. Come on, lift up your voice right now and open up your mouth. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for this word. We refuse to allow it to fall on the ground. This word is established in our hearts, is established in our souls. Oh, we thank you, Lord, that even in these times, you still speak in this fashion. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And we bless your name, Father, tonight. Father, we pray that continue to bless your servant, O oh God. Bless the prophet. Let your power rest upon him. Use it continually. May you refresh her, O oh God. 